Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back. Welcome back, Scorps. How are you guys doing? I hope that everybody is doing very, very well. We are going to jump into an energy pool to see what we get. If we can get everything in one read. And if this resonates for you, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on YT. But if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I'll have your playlist linked below in the description box. Also, all the information about me will be in the bio. We still do have those two offers available uh, for personals. $45 for 10 minutes and $55 for 15 minutes. Email me at the scene tarot, the channel name, uh, at gmail.com, you guys. Everything should be in the bio. And the last day for booking, the $55 and the $45 special will be on the 31st. It is over on the 1st of June. There is no offers, just regular price, until June 21st, which we're only going to have emergency read, which is $185 for 30 minutes. Or if you want to wait for an available date, it will be the same price, $185 for an hour, okay? If you want to wait. But if emergency read, it's going to be 30 minutes for 185. And those are the two offers that I have available for June 21st, okay? When it comes on to June 21st, there's no special. There's no first timer special, just those two offers. All right, so let's see what we have for you when it comes to the energy pulls, Scorpios. We get here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being here. Thank you, Divine God, for having me, waking me up this morning, and translating these messages for Scorpio. Please protect me as I get into the energy and protect me as I release myself from the energy as well. Remove anything from the, the darkness and replace it with light as we pray. Amen. All right, so what we have here ooh the six of wands six of wands victory you guys victory this is this is what's hop popping right here for you like the first energy that i pull out for you scorpio is victory is congratulation is celebration is new energy like positive vibes of energy everything that you have finally worked for is making sense everything is coming together i'm seeing new people um new accounts coming in for those of you who have your own business i'm just seeing like finally you know you are at the top here and you're very blessed look at this elephant very blessed you're surrounded by community and love and support within the situation as well so there was some stabbing in the back that the angels are bringing up here because you have these beautiful wings on this ten of swords and they are saying that you did not deserve this because you were very much innocent within this situation this could be from your childhood this could be from you know just being triggered from things that happened in the past and you're being triggered now because you're going through a lot of transitions with other people especially if you have the victory card you're losing people you don't understand it you're like hold on a second what's going on here you know like why am i losing friends every year why am i you know making new people making new friends every year um it's like a lot of changes within your life i'm also seeing that you're at a crossroads as well sorry about my chair you guys it is so noisy I need to get another one. I have like, I guess, oh, Lord. Okay, so the Two of Wands energy is your crossroads and your choice and your decision. So I'm seeing that you're going to have to make a decision here. You're going to be given a choice. What is this about? Oh, the trials and tribulations and dealing with this over and over and over again. So you've been going through a pattern with someone. Nine of Wands, Two of Cups in Reverse. 
Holy Spirit, the Five of Wands. Yeah, you've been going through some kind of pattern with someone that you have a lot of history with. And you guys are showing up in reverse. So this is a strong connection. Um, this could be someone that you dearly love. You still do love this person because even though the Two of Cups is in reverse, you still feel like this person, you can't shake them or you just don't understand the connection, like you're having a problem moving on from this person. Even if you're with someone else, you're just constantly thinking about this person and you don't know why. But I'm seeing the... You still want to fight for each other, whoever this is, okay? Because you have the Nine of Wands. You have the Five of Wands in the upright as well. So there's a lot of constant bickering. There's a lot of, you know, conflicted decisions that needs to be made here. There's a lot of tug and war as well. There's a lot of competition here um, that I'm picking up for those of you. Um, I'm just seeing it like over and over. There's a battle, the battle, okay? Tell me about this battle. For Scorpio. This battle for Scorpio. What's the battle energy for Scorpio? Wow, no communication. Just, you know, hearing from the grapevine, hearing what this person might be saying or what this person might be doing. And I'm also hearing that. Um, this is not coming from the source and this is making the problems here because no one wants to talk to each other and tell each other tr the truth it's all of, it's also about the truth and lies being implemented within the situation because there's no communication there's no um hmm it's like there is no understanding there is no no crown chakra activity there's no getting it i feel like you and this person is you know when you're talking to each other it's like aquarius vibes it's like you know you're just like not understanding each each other words either and everything that this person might say or you might say they might change it into something else that you definitely don't mean so I'm seeing like the situation between you and this person is communication. There's no communication here, but a lot of you are really taking your energy to the next level where you are being very successful in your work. Um, there's a lot of healing, Scorpio, that needs to be done here because you do have that Ten of Swords, okay, within your back and those beautiful wings, like you don't deserve it. But the healing has not started within the situation. So a lot of you are still struggling. What you need to do. How you need to go about healing. How you need to go about changing. Okay, like you're not sure. So tell me more. You have the judgment here. You also have the nine of wands. Nine of swords, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, this is not the right time something about this truth here it's like i'm seeing like this person is still learning this person is still understanding something is going on with this person's energy and then we have the nine of swords we have the judgment as well within reverse here i'm just seeing like hmm it's crazy Angels are saying they haven't made a decision yet. Something about the situation when time is needed. Because I'm also seeing like like a lot of depression, stress, and anxiety. And this is in a constant vibration as well. Just like within the Six of Wands, constant vibration. So that's a lot of success. It's like you're experiencing a lot of good things, but a lot of bad things are also surrounded your situation. I'm also seeing, like I said, the Ace of Swords. So the angels are working on this person as well they're angel guides and it's they're not it's like it's not the right time that's what i keep getting here it's like this person is not ready then you have the eight of 
wands here in reverse so yeah this is coming in but very slowly like this is happening but very slowly i'm hearing patience here this person is in the pisces energy right now i'm also seeing sad with the eight of wands this could be their moon and their rising sign or something in their houses but this person is giving me sacrifice vibes at their time so it's like they're hanging around watching you right now but i'm getting like in their time they will make things happen i'm also seeing the ace of wands like there is a, a delay of movement like you have to be patient for this like nothing is do it's like <laughs> nothing is on time right now i guess i feel with this ace of wands here like everything is slow ace of swords ace of wands within this pole spiritually it's not the right time like there's no decision being made with the angels it's like you have a lot of healing to do as well and i feel like that healing um energy is so important because if you don't heal it's slowing down what's supposed to come in okay so we have the six of pentacles and we have the five of cups and we also have the five of swords so we have these energies right here okay and the six of pentacles energy so i'm definitely seeing that within the six of pentacles there was like this similar to the talking in war but there was definitely no stability within the situation like i just feel like you haven't got what you wanted from the situation from this relationship but you were given a lot there's a lot of fear here too like just being afraid of what is going to happen again if you give this person a second chance um it's like making decisions based on fear here this way the 10 is 10 of swords and then the swords lined up together right here i don't know if you can see it i'm going to try to push these things back a little bit because my cards are in the way this is what happens when you read a lot um just trying to push back so you guys can see the cards okay just a little because you have here it is the nine of swords tennis well the ten of swords nine of swords here and it's all in the upright it's in the present moment so you're feeling this this is intense right now uh and then you have this the five of swords as well and it's a winning energy this is why the angels are trying to tell you like this person whoever this is, this situation is they're not going to value you right now they're not going to take you seriously because they're they're not open to change or open to new direction this is what i'm seeing here they're not open to flow back into the past or perhaps try to solve that situation and study it and make sure that you know everything doesn't happen again it's like this person is pretty much stuck within that energy okay and then i have here the uh, ooh, seven of cups energy the ten of cups energy as well and then you have the queen of pentacles so security is a factor here i feel like you're doing very well like i said with a victory energy plus this person looks at you as a mother um within the queen of pentacles like they don't have to worry about you some of you have some kind of family together or this is, was a plan that you were trying to do because in the ten of cups is still in the upright in the present moment as well but then you have the seven of cups energy seven of yeah seven of cups energy in reverse okay and i feel like within this energy is just a lot going on i feel like this person is overwhelmed i feel like this person made a mistake here within this this situation and it's crazy how you know you just had this card and it just rolls up with a 10 and then the queen like you definitely don't deserve this because you are just busy taking care of your home focusing on your home and here comes some form of betrayal and the betrayal seems like it is with the heart like there's feelings there there's concerns there isn't it is not something that this person with a seven of swords can just run away from you know this person is giving me like their feelings are um implemented here within this, this in this situation so tell me more holy spirit wow you have three 
three out of four elements you guys you have the ace of swords in reverse the ace of wands and now i'm seeing the ace of cups the only one that's missing is the ace of pentacles um in reverse so everything is like on a delay the affections the feelings that you're supposed to feel for this the truth the crown chakra you know activities or breakthrough or just a breakthrough in general everything is just in delay here and then we have the ace of wands there's no movement everything is at a pause within this energy i'm seeing the three of pentacles two of pentacles again you know this person is someone that had an affair at work perhaps or um, this person is just losing everything and they're they're overwhelmed within this energy as well this is what i'm seeing here they need to make a decision or a choice of what are you know where they're going to end up tell me more holy spirit Okay, so you have the Page of Cups here. You also have the, oh, the Emperor in Reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. So a lot of um, manipulation, you know, this is what I'm getting here. A lot of manipulation within the Aries energy. I feel like there is also, you know, a lot of playing the victim here or feeling just defeated or someone have lost. I'm also seeing a lot of loss here. So this person that you're dealing with is someone that lost their money or lost their position with leadership, okay? And I'm also seeing that this person has this ego where they owe some kind of an apology or an awareness of this apology and they're choosing not to do that as well. So this is what's going on so fast, <laughs> so far, okay? So tell me about the connection, Holy Spirit, about the connection for Scorpio. What is this connection for Scorpio? What is this connection for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father? This connection towards Scorpio. This connection towards Scorpio. What is the connection towards Scorpio? And it is heart to heart conversation. Didn't I say, like, listen, OMG, like, didn't I say the conflicts? If you go back into the video from the first, I knew I talked about this. Like, conversation and, and having communication, and this is the problem within the relationship. It's like you guys can't communicate, and it's making a lot of problems, and now you have the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Like, you need to express yourself and respect each other and also stop talking over each other yes we're all human but gosh you know sometimes we just need to stop hearing our own voice all right so and listen that's why you have a listen card listen it says here unrequired love so this this might not make it you know if you guys don't get into the ball of things the angels are revealing that this might not make it the love that you guys have for each other which is a two of cups energy because this is up here two of cups energy right it's a lot of love but there is a separation that's going on between you and this person um because you're looking like you guys are in separation within the two of cups in reverse like there's a disconnect here okay and this love that you have might not be enough to save the relationship. This is what the angels are saying. So tell me more. All right. What is it? What is it? Okay. This was true love. This was true love. A lot of you are questioning that and wondering if this is true love. And yes, it was. It might not be your perfect story, but it's your true. It's, this was true. This was real. It says this is a romance of a lifetime so you felt like in it like instantly in love with this person instantly because the two of cups and then you have the eight of wands even though it's in reverse it's because you guys are in reverse right now you guys are having issues so the holy spirit is revealing like yeah this was love at first sight this was love at first sight <laughs> all right so let me do the animal energy and see what you have thank you holy spirit for scorpio why am i 
you're like you're not as far as way far away from things that that you want um it's not that far okay because i'm seeing connections here i'm seeing the spider webs i'm seeing like everything is going to be coming into play or coming together okay this is what i'm getting i'm also seeing the dear energy as well so congratulations of this beautiful blessing that you're having it's like something is being approved in your life like you're being blessed to go to the next purpose or your next journey within your life and the angel a kind of like gave you this you know approval like this stamp you know this protective like tattoo like where any anywhere you go like you're going to be protected you're, you're going to be valued and this is like this blessing as well through this dare energy and I'm seeing change and I'm seeing dreams and I'm seeing visions like a lot of you could be experiencing that and your dreams are really making sense and it's like wow you, f you can dream one dream to the very end until they wake you up or you choose to wake up and you're like wow that was crazy so a lot of you are definitely tapping into dreams and visions or, as you're awake um, or you're just receiving so much information within the crown chakra um, and you're just like wow I can't believe I I put two and two together why didn't I do this years ago because you're receiving the messages right on time so a lot of changes are coming in for you a lot of changes are coming in for you so we're going to tap into this person's energy by itself and see what we got right so let's see I think I might use another deck for now let's use this one This one is a bit harder. Look about the Emperor. <laughs> the Emperor. Here he is. Okay, so let's see what we have for this person's energy. Um, Holy Spirit, what's going on here? This person is coming in. So low. Wow, the Two of Cups came out right on time. Like, first card that I saw, like, come out of the deck here. I've also seen the nine of wands here so this person wants to keep fighting this is what they're saying like there's so much feelings that they have for you they don't want to give up they just want to keep moving forward moving up in life they feel like they learned so much already from you um they look up to you and they made this decision within the judgment so the decision that needs to be made is on your end not so theirs um i'm also seeing aries and libra energy as well for those of you okay aries and libra energy I keep seeing aries though tell me Ooh. then you have the queen of swords energy so the king of cups energy wow this person is coming in very strong. It's like they want to be with you and they're going to do everything in their power to get that, um, get that buy to you. Wow, empty promises. But I'm seeing like a, a, a pathway that is blocked because they're saying that the communication is blocked here, but they are willing to give you this offer, this huge offer by the way this king of cups offer here so they have a lot of emotions they want to be able to to make the first move as well it's crazy how we got that pisces energy that hangman energy and i said this person will eventually come to you but on their time is something about timing here but they feel like they don't make you happy because they can't give you what you want 
and they're also dealing with some kind of demons too within their family or their past um their childhood just feeling controlled and trapped but i feel like this person wants to get out of this their son is also in reverse here so this person is very gloomy not so happy this is not a smiler okay we also have the temperance Ooh. so this person might just feel serious all the time again you know trusting in the universe here trust in that everything is going to be okay we also have the nine of swords coming back again which we talked about earlier and here it is it's, it's like this person is going through the same thing you are going through the mental and physical agony we also have the king of pentacles here so they're also looking like they're not so successful Ooh, you guys have similar energies queen of swords king of swords energy there's a new or a new beginning that's coming up i feel like you're going to be receiving some kind of message about that about this person um but you guys are supposed to learn how to share your spirituality together and also um your deepest thoughts you know things that comes in on a spiritual level like you can't tell or talk to anyone else you can talk to this person i feel like again too you're supposed to help each other to learn how to communicate um and talk to each other talk to other people so i just feel like your vibration their vibration is not vibing the same frequency because one is in reverse and one is in the upright okay so this could also be gemini aquarius or libra energy that you're dealing with i'm also seeing the lies here that you don't know about they're talking about lies and this is what cause the separation the ten of cups the ten of uh, pentacles to be in the reverse so everything that this person have built with you have been in reverse here they have lost this this is what i'm getting i'm also seeing this ten of wands energy so there's a lot of um history that's coming up childhood history between you and this person or history period with the two of cups nine of wands ten of wands in reverse a lot of time was spent together um i'm also seeing a cycle like a pattern tell me more holy spirit you have the moon you have the world and the queen of cups another um similarity between you and this person you're supposed to help each other to love and to understand love within this life wow contracts on top of contracts um i'm seeing cancer energy pisces energy for those of you that are dealing with one of those particular signs i'm also seeing pisces energy here within the moon as well so the mistake like i said has already been made there is going to be some kind of completion or breakthrough that is coming in now it's like a lot of you are like um at the at a different part of your situation <laughs> this is what i'm getting like a lot of you are going to be moving forward from this scorpio and aries in the tower Ooh, ace of wands wow so finally you have some kind of movement within their energy so a lot of your energy you're just having all this energy in reverse where when it comes to the love when it comes to the ace of wands energy and the ace of cups like you are just not entertaining anything right now but this person is going to come through um i don't feel like you're going to see this person coming because a lot of you they're showing up locked here because of their lifestyle and then you have the strength in reverse as well within this person's energy like they're being pushed spiritually and i feel like they're going to end up doing this on their own okay so we're going to clarify 
some cards here, especially the one in reverse. All right, so let's see. All right, so the first one is the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. This person's energy, Holy Spirit. You have the Four of Pentacles. So even though there's a blockage here, this person wants to work something out. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. It's like I'm getting they want to take you on a date because they pushed you away. They said something spiritually to you, Virgo energy. In reverse, the Queen of Swords. Oh, wow. The Queen of Swords. And it goes back to the Queen of Swords. I'm trying to clarify here. And this is why the Queen of Swords is right there in reverse. This is why the blockage here. So this person was trying to, like, for those of you that have been together with this person for a while, this could be a problem with the Four of Pentacles because I feel like the Four of Pentacles energy for me is someone that is definitely trying to work something out um it's like that's the vibe you know trying to give you some kind of stability within the situation right and this might not be enough if you've been with this person for a long time for those of you okay um and then i'm seeing like they pushed you spiritually away or they challenged you as well and a lot of you are choosing to block this person because they're saying that they're blocked here Tell me about this Nine of Cups, Holy Spirit. What's the Nine of Cups energy? The Nine of Cups energy. The Judgment in Reverse. They have made a decision here. But they haven't made a decision whether or not to see if they can make you happy. It's like something is going on here with this nine of cups in reverse it's like they have they don't have faith that they can make you happy here i'm getting eeries and libra energy tell me more about this judgment the temperance so this is something that the holy spirit is going to have to work on this person which is their self-confidence this person's confidence and determination is in reverse this is what I'm getting. Can I see the devil's energy in reverse, Holy Spirit? Why is this person still feeling this way? We have the Eight of Swords. So this person in the past, they have been talked about, mocked. Um, they have been uh, told that they weren't going to be anything or feel like they were in jail. Maybe this person was in jail before because I'm just seeing like restriction, being stuck. Um, being not being able to give you what you want. This is what I'm getting here. Um, hmm, tell me more. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, and there's going to need to heal. This is all about healing. This is all about that Ten of Swords energy in the back. Okay, feeling triggered as well. Which explains the devil's energy because this person has this devil energy in reverse like they're trying to do something they're trying to heal tell me about this sun in reverse the sun energy in reverse the sun energy in reverse we have the three of swords so there was a lot of heartache here um and this is why the three of swords is implemented the temperance is next to it so again you know trust within the universe that everything is going to be okay and that you're going to over what is it you're going to overcome this situation as well tell me about the temperance yep i'm seeing the nine of pentacles so for those of you who've been having hardships within your situation just know that this person um sees you as the nine of pentacles okay and sees you that you're going to be getting your 
your life in order without them. I see you with this powerful energy. Tell me about this um, Nine of Swords. I just want to see what the Nine of Swords is like. What's this energy? The Seven of Swords. This is what caused the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords. The lies, the betrayal, the distance. This person running away and not being there to explain themselves. The people coming into play and acting like they know you when they don't. And act like they know your relationship more than you don't. Um, tell me about this King of Pentacles energy. Tell me about this King of Pentacles energy. The King of Wands. King of Wands energy. I feel like this person is locking things. Like the King of Pentacles, like they're avoiding so many, so many obstacles here, but they're forcing themselves to be successful within their work, within their hands, within their craft. Um, I'm just getting like avoidance because they don't want things to get worse than they are. They want to communicate with you. They want to talk to you about the Seven of Swords. Okay, they feel like in the present moment you don't know. You still don't know. Think about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Then you have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So you put a stop to this. When you found out what was happening here, the Ten of Pentacles fell apart. You put a stop to it. You put no action within this home, within this relationship, within this vibration, and everything fell apart. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. All right, so you have the six, the six of pentacles um, coming out here. So the six of pentacles, ten of wands energy. I feel like losing control but gaining some kind of stability. It's like you are let, like this person was letting go of something here so they can have stability brought back within their lives. And this could be multiple situations with other people or just having a lot of things to make it seem like everything is going okay within the home. But quietly, it was just being alone. You were just alone all the time. Um, so I'm seeing like this person is giving something back to you because you have helped them out with this Ten of Wands energy. And I'm also seeing the Temperance and the Ace of Pentacles as well. So for those of you, the Temperance is in reverse here. I think this person is a user, you guys. And there might not be a user. I just feel like this person doesn't have everything that you have and so that's what I'm getting. That's the vibe. Oh gosh, my thing. Hold on, y'all. That's the vibe that I'm getting right now with this person's energy. I don't feel like they have what you have. You know? Something it's like they're feeling like they can just lay around and do nothing. And you know, you will allow it. You will you will allow it because you've shown up as a queen of cups. You're not the Empress in reverse, because this would be in reverse. They are. They're showing up as something that they're not. Well, they're showing up something that they... They're showing up as being the Empress, but they're really your Empress in reverse. So this could be a karmic partnership. All right, so tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have the Four of Swords energy. Four of Swords energy here. Okay. In reverse, because of this moon energy, there was a lot of blockage. Because of the mistake that was done, because of the insecurity, because of your anxiety, because of what you were feeling within your intuition, this person made you feel like, you know what, you were losing your mind and you need to take some time for yourself. So this is what I'm getting here. Tell me about the strength. The strength is the fool. So... It's like, you know, the angels are just saying, you know what, just do your research before going back into this because it seems like you are tired or burnt out and this person is saying, oh, you're tired and burnt out. But at the same time, you both team seemed like to like when you see each other, you just jump, jump right back where you were without 
like doing the research or having the experience or taking your time. Um, tell me about this Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords and you have the death in reverse here. So they're saying, Scorpio, you are still stuck. Like there is no moving on. Can I have more? Even though you have blocked this person, there's no moving on. You haven't moved on. And if they know that you haven't moved on, they have been watching you. But I also see this magician energy where there's a lot of manifestation, a lot of prayer within this person's energy. Okay? This person is giving me like they're praying you back or they're manifesting you back. There's no like darkness, like real dark energy here. It's just they are not perfect. The only dark energy that I do see is the devil energy and I feel like this is about their childhood this is about something that not everybody is comfortable in talking about and it's crazy because this person's energy is in reverse within that energy so it's like they accept this situation they know what the situation is is either going to get help or they're not going to get help so that's what we have for this person <laughs> we got tapped into this so let's see what we can get about the love energy um let's see what we can do for that okay because this person i know loves you i mean the two of cups came up that's their first card so this is mutual and then the two of cups came up in your energy as well and you're just saying basically when your cup came up in reverse that you guys are in separation but this person it's funny because they don't look at you in separation they look at you as someone that they still want to explore the the connection is still strong the contract is still strong and they made a decision too so look out for this person and i feel like you're not going to see this person coming because it's like they're not revealing how they're coming you know it's it's like they're they're on this like they're blocked or something like that but i'm still seeing like they're gonna make their way somehow <laughs> surprise 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 i think i have my ac on a little bit too high or it's just so cold because it's at 77 and i'm freezing in here i'm freezing so i'm gonna have to turn that down i'm gonna have to really turn that down y'all because that's cold it's cold everything is cold <laughs> got my little shirt on today i'm just like nah it's a little cold um so let's see tell me more mm -hmm. how does this person feel for scorpio mm -hmm. what's the feelings here So they're saying that they want to jump right back in, but there's so many things that's going on. It's either they have multiple partnerships or they're free spirited or they have a family situation here that's happening that they're focused on. Like they're trying to control here. OK, this could be multiple partners. Let me just check. Tell me more about this seven. Seven of Cups energy. What is this? What is this? What is this? the four of pentacles this could be their time they need to make a decision about this the two of swords this is over this is just due this this person needs to make a decision this is why they're in and out of your life this is not why they're consistent um and i'm seeing like this person wants to jump right back in with the queen of swords but the Queen of Swords is blocking this energy of jumping back in. It's like you're saying you're like you're just letting this person know like you're done with the nonsense. If this person wants to come back in, there needs to be a change. But even with these two cards, I'm seeing like they're holding up something. They're trying to like do both and come to you, but they're not doing it fast enough because this is like a pause energy. Like take a step back here. <laughs> within the hangman but I'm seeing even with the hangman you know I'm seeing like a loophole tell me about this uh, queen of swords 
Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Ooh, the Six of Cups. So the Queen of Swords is a Six of Cups energy. There's a contract here, so it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> the angels are going to make a way. Tell me about it. Yeah, this person is a player, or it seems like they are, because you're blocking them because they're the Knight of Swords. Like, they don't want to commit or give you that commitment. Tell me about why this person is very slow in moving forward. Tell me more. Okay, tell me more about the six. Oh, all right, so there's a lot of instability here because this person is a liar and they're not doing anything for the relationship. But the love is true. I'm also seeing gossip here. Be careful, you guys, of the loss, because I'm seeing a pattern. I'm seeing like a, a cycle energy on the back of the deck. You do have the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, making the wrong decisions, losing a lot within this situation. I'm also seeing, again, you know, this constant healing within the future of vibes. Even though here it's like this person is saying like they're, they're healing. Like, they close a lot of chapters in their life, but I feel like with the 10 here, they're still, they're still holding on to something. Tell me about that 10. The Five of Pentacles. This could be someone that they used to live with. Um, someone that they walked away from. There's a lot of coldness in that energy. As well. Which is very interesting. All right, so let me see what we have with these beautiful white cards. I need to move these out of the way or put them out of the way. All right, so tell me about this person's energy, what they want to say to Scorpio, what they would like to say to Scorpio what they would like to say to Scorpio. This person would like to say to Scorpio. So let's see. Scorpio. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Father. Scorpio. Angel of Marriage. Okay, so you have the Angel of Marriage just showing up here because some of you are married. And then we have I feel I'm toxic for you. So yeah, this person is definitely toxic because they know that they are. But the good news about this card is like no toxic person is going to say, I feel like I'm toxic. I feel like this person is making the first move. And that's why we saw the double in reverse because it's like, okay, they accept what's going on here. And at least let, let's just work this thing out. Let's just try to get better being a person and see where this goes because they're making the first move realizing that i feel i am toxic for you like you deserve better um they don't want to put this on you they don't want this to become you this is what i'm getting i wish that i could take all uh, what is it i wish i can take it all back so there's a lot of things that was said in an argument or things person was just frustrated and they just wanted to say what they wanted to say um and you know it can't they can't take it back they can't take it back this is very hurtful and i they wish that they have a time machine right now okay we share special moments i never had this one before we shared special moments 
and this person is telling me that you guys are um you met very young or you had some kind of childhood experience uh you're the six of cups energy you're made of love like this person learned how to love you um very quickly <laughs> some of you love at first sight let's say attraction at first sight okay um and then this person just could not take you out of their minds okay they go to sleep dreaming of you okay because that's that's their outlet of whatever they were dealing with when they were younger they had so much drama so many family drama they wish they were they wish they had another family you know this is what i'm seeing here but you know you you were their their son but now the son is in reverse here i want you baby i do because you feel like this person don't love you don't want you they're not attracted to you you feel like something is wrong here and they're like no i do love i do want you all right so tell me more i meant what i said i'm so sorry so there was an apology or an explanation and then they're apologizing again. Tell me more. Please let me explain. So they're trying to get in touch with you here, but they're losing hope. They're losing resources. They don't know what else to do. I want to change my behavior. So this person is quite mean and rude. And that's the that's the Knight of uh, Swords energy. This in it to win it energy. Okay. Thinking that they know everything. And I knew this was gonna come out because it just always does every time the third party made me do it. So for some of you, you even got like <laughs> introduction of the third party you even got some kind of um event that happened between you and this person where this person was supposed to leave with you or choose you right then and there but instead this person did a 360 where you were just like hold on what and you know it wasn't what you expected this is what i'm seeing here i never expect i never expect this to happen wow it's crazy, right? I never expect this to happen. Tell me more. I never expect this to happen. Angel of Union and Permission. So this person has been asking for something, asking for you guys to get back together. And I feel like that is approved because you have, you had the magician that came up earlier and I said, like, there's a lot of positive praying here, planting seeds within this person's energy for you. And I'm seeing the angel of union and permission. So that's crazy. And then we have angel of progress. So remember we had no movement within your situation and here it is it's like yeah this needs to move now <laughs> that's what i'm getting tell me more holy spirit tell me more then you have the angel of children so some of you have children here or you want children to save this relationship but you have to think about that like nothing can save this relationship but you and this person and communication okay um but angel of children is here so a lot of you might have children with this person and they're being ripped apart or they're changing because of everything that's going on here angel of power angel of power so you've given this person your power or they've given you their power and they're getting that back I'm not seeing anything wrong with this. Per I can't even talk like, like pull these messages like, oh my God, this thumb, because I feel like 
they had some good cards and the power energy i just feel like yeah this person is is feeling weak right now or this person is feeling drained but they have angel michael pushing them too so telling them to confront this situation don't run from it i'm trying to come back let me in i'm trying to come back let me in yeah this person is locked out they're locked out tell me more holy spirit and you have your reasons because i'm seeing like it was a cycle it's a pattern angel of avoidance so there's a lot of avoidance here acting like you don't hear this you don't see this moving on <laughs> you're my only true love i think we had this like twice right or something like that because here it is again true love oh it's right here look at that look at that you're my true love confirmation i know i see this <laughs> i'm like what you love this is something that was you know talked about already and here it is that energy so we have a confirmation here wow <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're going to pull some energy from my deck. If you guys want to purchase my deck, it will be in the description box. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is going on here? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Thank you. What is going on? Let's see. What's the energy? Let's see energy. Okay, so let's see what's good for Scorpio. Oops. Yeah, I'm trying not to do a lot. One at a time, please. Okay. Yeah, we have marry me here. So we have wedding that is also coming back up. Because we had the angel of marriage, which was your first couple of cards. Okay, so we have marry me here. So this is a confirmation here. So someone is asking you, uh, please marry me. The angels are saying remember to love because this is a lesson. Like you're teaching this person within the fives and there's going to be a new beginning i don't know why this is coming out but this is for someone um please uh bless you and no one can break never let go of me again and we had the card that says angel of union and um pro uh, what is it permission okay so it's like this and look at this this is crazy because you have the number 21 so number 20 is the judgment for those of you that don't know in the numbers and then you have the ace which is a force of energy so number 21 this is decided this person is coming back in and i said that this person was praying and manifesting before and here it's like i'm just getting like these confirmations then you have contracts as well this is your choice sexual contracts here the coffee energy deep desire temptation for those of you, this is what broke the energy in the first place. This is something that you need to make sure that this is out of your system. You know, whoever did this, it could be you, it could be them. Um, but I'm seeing like this person is also taking responsibility. Like they're trying to talk to you, like they're trying to come in and, you know, they're even apologizing here. Like I meant what I said. I'm so sorry. Right. Or, um, Are they apologizing for their behavior and it receiving information? Because it says, I want to change my behavior here. So this could also be sexual, but I'm just feeling like it's also about the way they acted when they received the information. There's also someone that came in with this yellow flowers. This is jealousy. This is envy. Someone here started this. Because remember, you guys don't communicate. So... <laughs> I'm not getting communication, okay? So the information that was trans, 
transferred was coming from a third party okay a third party came into your your um your foundation within this person and the, it was not firm your foundation was not firm because if it was it wouldn't be so easy for someone to come in and destroy everything within a ten of pentacles pentacles energy so tell me more holy spirit okay so we have two soul lies so this person came into the relationship lying to you appearing to be something that they weren't because they love you because they want you because they crushing on you it says strong feelings soulmates unbreakable contract right so this person is like i love you always number eight and there is a lot of action behind this this is not blowing steam or blowing gas right so this is what i'm seeing here all right this person lied to you your soulmate came into your life and lied to you um didn't it wasn't your your relationship wasn't built on the truth it says partnership deep love fighting to stay together okay because see when you lie and start something it has to be turned back around the energy has to be level has to be leveled out two souls facing separation as well within this card and it's like you can't get enough of each other you're afraid of the separation you're afraid of this transition you're following each other even though one soul might be ahead of the other you're still like you're always still with each other but i'm seeing like a a, a huge force of action that is needed within this situation because it wasn't a pause energy for so long like you love each other but no one seemed to really be doing anything about it but i'm seeing like the holy spirit is making a way and then scorpio this is you this is your energy the woman in the lake or that feminine energy it says it's okay to show your emotion so obviously you are being very guided a lot of you have some kind of aries moon or leo moon or you have sagittarius your rising or it could be your moon as well but you are tapped into that um that that what is it that stubborn energy this is someone that you made a child with this is someone that wanted a child from you this is someone that wanted to start over from st start over with you reset the clock with you um this is someone that you love okay and someone that love you and they're they want to give you the greatest gift of all which is their child because they trust you they look at you as that motherly figure whether you're a woman or a man it's crazy i just had a card what, what, which one is it because the apology the apology this innocent apology hmm. okay y'all one more and then we're gonna close up so two more two more All right, so again, you have fire energy coming out here, Aries and Leo. Aries, Leo, or Sag energy, and I just explained because you had the divine of fire as well. Like the divine is throwing in a lot of movement, a lot of action, bringing back the passion. Hello, this is beautiful energy. And then you're in this fearless stage. So you're receiving crown chakra activi act activity and you're not afraid. You are bold, you're spirited, and you're brave. And you need to say that every day when you wake up so you can continue to receive this beautiful energy and have this force of energy within your life. Nothing should remain still within your future, okay, or your life because we're only here for a, cer a certain amount of time. Then we're going to reset. So this is what I have, Scorpios. I hope that it resonates. All the information is in the description. My deck will be in the description. It is $45 altogether right now, including the shipping, you guys. So it's $45 including the shipping price, okay? And it's not going to be for a long period of time. I'm just going to have this roll up for the month. Well, right now to the month of June, June 20th will be the last day of that sale. So just want to announce it if you want to purchase my deck. And yeah, all that will be in the description. And I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.